Hello and welcome to my channel, Microwave Sounds. In this video I will show you some hidden MIDI system exclusive data parameters that can be useful when editing styles and MIDI files as well as controlling effects via an external MIDI controller. Part 1 is mainly about controlling the internal effects, IFX for short, which are selectable on the four layers right 1, right 2, right 3 as well as left. Initial situation. Adeli published a MIDI data list last year, which already contains a lot of useful MIDI control data as well as size X data for changing sound parameters. However, many important parameters are missing from the list. E.g. size X commands for editing the effect sections of the internal and global effects. In painstaking work I found out these parameters by reverse engineering. Here you can see a short excerpt from the size X lists of the individual effect sections and types with all adjustable parameters. The tools used in this video. Video X. To send the size X commands to the AKX10 keyboard, I use the software MIDI OX in this example. In a future video, I will make the size X commands live editable using the homemade Modelli drawbar controller from my previous video and demonstrate this. An ASCII table for converting hex numbers to decimal numbers. Alternatively, you can use the Windows calculator and a spreadsheet tool e.g. Microsoft Excel as a SysX list helper. Looking at the effects section of the AKX10's IFX, there are a variety of effect types here, for example, reverb, delay, chorus, rotary and so on, which in turn contain various presets. Chorus 1 GM Rotary 1 GM Rotary 2 etc. Each effect consists of parameters that can be edited in different ways. At the example GM Rotary 2 these parameters are LFO frequency, LFO depth, F, B level, phase diff, dry, wet. But how do you proceed in the case of the AKX10 to be able to edit these parameters via MIDI SysX? First of all, you need to know the basic structure of a sysx command. However, I don't want to go too much into the sysx specific features in this beginner tutorial. The most important features for this tutorial consist of the sysx header for Modelli keyboards consists of the string FO00202B, the selection of the effect type, as well as the parameters to be controlled. The end of a sysx command is always the value F7. It is important to know that the sysx parameters must always be defined as hex values. A hex to decimal table or alternatively a programming pocket calculator is helpful here. Decimal values from 0 to 127 correspond in sysx language to a hex value from 00 to 7f. Let's stay with the example of the GM rotary chorus effect. First of all you send a command to switch on the IFX section in general. This command is also used to reset IFX parameters. This value is usually required only once, F0, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00F7. The next sysx command is to select to the GM Rotary 1 preset, F0, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, Next we want to set the parameter values for the LFO frequency, i.e. the speed of the rotary effect. We want to set a value of 1.70 Hz here. The command for this is, F0, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 05, 01, 04, 01, 03, 01, 2AF7. To achieve this value the last two hex number values must be adjusted to achieve the value 170. Since sysx hex values can only be set up to 127 per byte, which would correspond to the hex value 7f, we must increase the penultimate byte by 01. So this byte serves as multiplier. The value 01 means accordingly in decimal 128. The value 2a means in decimal 42. 
Both values added together result in the decimal value 170. For the LFO depth value 4, the SysX command is FO 00202 BO 05 01 04 01 04 00 04 F7. For the FB level portion minus 21, the command is FO 00202 BO 05 01 04 01 05 00 2 BF7. It is important to know that the parameters have start values, in this case the minus 64. So minus 64 decimal plus 2b hex which is equals 43 in decimal is minus 21. For the phase diff value 0, the command is f 0 2 2 b 0 5 one 4 one ob one 3 4 f 7 here the starting value is minus 180. So to get to the value 0, we have to set the last two bytes to 01 and 34. Last sysx parameter for the dry, wet portion should be set to 0. fo 2 b 0 5 one 4 one od 4 f 7 The start value is minus 64. So the last byte must be set to hex 40, corresponds to decimal 64. These commands can also be sent in one go. Once all parameters have been set, it is now possible to change only a single parameter. In this example I want to increase the LFO frequency continuously from 0.00 Hz to 6.39 Hz. To do this, I have created a mass list that enumerates the values from 00 to 639 in hex and again from 639 to 00. I repeat this several times. I copy the result. Paste it into the sysx send dialog of MIDI OX and send it to the AKX10 keyboard. To illustrate the effect, I hold down a chord with a clean organ sound. You can download the complete list with all relevant size X parameters for editing the internal effects IFX via the shortcut in the video description as a PDF document. In further parts of this video series the size X commands for the global effects will be added and explained. So far I have only figured out a fraction of these commands I will then add them to the list for download. If you have any other questions, please post them in the comments as well. I would be happy if you always refer to this PDF list, as I spent a lot of time to find out the parameters. I hope you enjoyed the video and would be happy if you subscribe to my channel and like the video. Many greetings. Your Dennis.